Hi everyone, my name's Sharon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am opening up a very exciting package and that is my Sephora order. I made this order during the VIB sale and a lot of the products in here are products that I've never used before so I'm super excited to open this up on camera with you. I think I only repurchased two products but other than that everything is brand new to me. Uh, so before I begin don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and if you're interested in seeing what I purchased during the sale then just keep on watching. So I just opened up my box and I can't wait to dig in and show you what I purchased. And the first item I have here is this Beauty Blender Holiday Gift Set. And this one comes with a beauty blender, a liquid cleanser, and also a scrubbing mat. And the cleanser is quite generous. It's 90 milliliters, so it's very bang for your buck. And I always like to purchase beauty blenders during a sale just because I go through them. Uh, they're my favorite tool to use for foundation and concealer. So I always like to pick one extra um, during a sale. Sephora also makes really good holiday gift sets and they make great gifts. And also, honestly, like if you're going to be using one of the products in here, a lot of the times it's really bang for your buck because they throw in an extra item or two. So can't go wrong with a holiday gift set. The next item I have is this Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. And this is maybe like my third or fourth bottle of this and I love using this spray when I have a full face of makeup on because it really takes away that cakiness and powdery look. And it's just a really good way just to make your skin look super dewy and glowy and honestly you can't go wrong with a setting spray. So this is how it looks like. I go through these not too fast just because I only use it when I do have like a full face of makeup on and if I need my makeup to last. So if you are looking for a all nighter spray, um, I highly recommend this one. So the next product I have here is actually from the Inky List. And I first heard about the Inky List through a friend and I noticed that they were being stocked on Sephora and I just thought that that was a great way for me to test out their products. And this one I got is a retinol eye cream. Um, I just needed like a new eye cream. The one that I'm using right now is okay, but I don't really notice a difference. And I just want something to target like dark eyes and puffiness. So this one says it's best for first signs of aging and it helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Looks good to me. And this is how it looks. Yeah, so I'm very excited to try this out. I never really used eye creams before in the past, but I think um, I'm kind of at the age where I could start using eye creams and hopefully it does benefit me and kind of target um, pre-aging. Very excited to test out the Inky List. They have a lot of other products I do want to test out too, but I just thought of giving um, this first product a try. So the next product I have is this Sol de Janeiro um, Bum Bum Cream. So this one actually I had been eyeing for a really long time. Um, it just took me a really long time to purchase one just because these creams are pretty expensive. Uh, but I got just, I don't know what size this is. I got this in a 75 ml. Um, just to test out, but I really do like the scent of this. And I have a lip balm and it's just really moisturizing. So I know that the body cream must be moisturizing as well. And this is how it looks. I'm going to open it. Oh, it smells so good. It's just like coconut and vanilla and I just can't wait to use this all over my body. Next up, I have this. What is this? Oh, it's a Kaja Beauty Bento Box. So this is actually an eyeshadow trio. And I got this because I wanted um, just a few more eyeshadows. I really only have one right now that I use and even then I rarely use it. But I wanted something very natural that I could wear day to night. And this one comes with three shades. Crushed Pearl, Cool Khaki, and Brown Sugar. And on the website it looked really cute. It was kind of like three little stackable um, eyeshadows. If you can see that. And the color is super natural. You got like a shimmery champagne and then this is like a nudish color and then um, like a darker brown. 
They look like that. That's the top shade. That's the middle shade. That's the bottom shade. I was really intrigued by this product because it is like a compact eyeshadows and I really like things that I can just chuck into my bag and take it with me and especially for traveling, not like I'm doing any right now, but I just thought that this would be a great um, eyeshadow to travel with. And yeah, I'm very excited to test out these shades. Um, it looks really natural and something that is super wearable and I'm not even good at applying eyeshadow so really i'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of rub it and just see how it goes so i'm very excited to test this out so the next product i have is from necessaire and it is their body exfoliator and i first heard of necessaire through other beauty bloggers and i saw that they were again being stocked on sephora and i just wanted to try out their product um, they're basically just like a body care brand and this one is an exfoliator and it says it helps exfoliate, soften, and renew. Um, it's a gel texture, and the scent that I got is eucalyptus. So I'm really excited to use this in the shower because I don't currently use a body exfoliator, but because of like the winter dry months, um, I do find that my skin does get more rough. So this is how it looks like. I can't wait to scrub using this. So on the back, it says, the body exfoliator is a weekly multi-exfoliation treatment for skin health. Use one to two times a week and apply all over your body and massage for foam and rinse well. So really excited to test this out. I have been looking for a body exfoliator. So this one um, got really good reviews and everyone's raving about this brand. So I'm really excited to test this out. The next product I have is this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Now, I've heard really good things about this foundation and honestly, I'm pretty happy with the foundations that I have. I mainly use um, the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, the Hourglass Stick Foundation, uh, and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Soap Foundation, and then a NARS um, Radiant Creamy, oh no, NARS like tinted moisturizer uh, but I really wanted to test something new just because it's been a while since I've tried out a new foundation and this one I heard really good reviews about it says it's waterproof and sweat resistant and it's a natural glow finish and I got this in the shade warm so let's open this up this is how it looks and it's supposed to be really light but buildable so I'm very excited to test this out oh i didn't even realize it's not a pump it's like a squeezy so you just squeeze it so cool very excited to test out a new foundation so the next product i have is from gizu and it is their honey infused hair oil and i first heard of this brand through again beauty bloggers and on instagram so let's take a look what caught my eye was the packaging. I mean, it's so luxurious looking and it just looks so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited to try out this hair oil. I currently use the Bumble and Bumble um, Invisible Oil and I've been using that for so many years because honestly, hair oils last for years and years. And I just wanted to test out a new one. So I heard great things about this and the reviews sound great and the smell is supposed to be amazing. So this is how it looks and it's a little glass bottle and honestly, I just wanna put this on the counter and just sit there and just look pretty. So I'm very excited um, to test this out. All right, and the last product finally is this Tan Lux uh, Face Self Tan Drops. So I love to tan. Um, unfortunately, we didn't really get a lot of tanning done this year, so I am probably the palest I've ever been right now. And I just having like a tan just makes me feel more confident and just makes me feel better in my own skin so i was really um interested in testing out a tanning product for my face and i've never used any tanning products but i heard really good reviews about tan lux and this one is a a drop that that you're supposed to squeeze into like your moisturizer or your cream so I really like that idea just because I don't like putting like a tanning cream on my face. I rather use something like this where you drop it into your um, regular night cream or whatever and um, it tans 
your face. So this is how the bottle looks like. I got it in the shade medium dark. And what you're supposed to do, I think, is supposed to put like a few drops into. Yeah, so it says mix one to four drops in your usual moisturizer, serum, or face oil and apply to your face. So you can use additional drops, but uh, I'm probably just going to try it out um, like with a few drops and see how, how dark it actually does make my skin. Um, so I'm very excited to use this because I have like no tan right now and I'm super pale and hopefully it makes me use less foundation just because a lot of the times like when people just have like more tan skin they tend to not use as much foundation so I'm hoping that this kind of like evens up my skin tone and just allows me to step out uh, bare skin so very excited to use this it's pretty pricey but you know during a sale I had to purchase this so there you go and that was the end of my Sephora haul. So a lot of these products are mainly skincare products and body care products. Um, but honestly, I'm not really testing out new makeup products these days. I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup these days. So really, um, just the foundation and the eyeshadow for me was kind of all that intrigued me. So I just want to say thank you for watching again. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!